Good afternoon, lads and uh, wait a minute. I feel the demon mold coming on. <laughs> Anyway, let me tell you a little bit of a story. So last week I had the pleasure of meeting a wonderful new creator by the name of Jesse102. Jesse is from Deutschland. That's French for Germany. Anyway, Jessie's from Germany. She's a really awesome lady. We had her on the show the other night and had a really good chat. And I was shocked. I thought Germans were pretty, like, you know, clever for the most part. Now, I'm sure just like everybody else... Germans are really smart people. They gave us Einstein and a few others. But anyway, she informed me that there is a lot of conspiracy theorists in Germany. One of them is a guy called... Uh, hold on, let me try this. Attila K Klaus Peter something. Attila Clown Peter something. Attila Klaus Peter Hildmann. Nailed it! So you might be asking yourself, how do you go from this to this simple go vegan yes that's right this guy is a vegan <laughs> dirty fucking vegans and not but seriously this guy was a vegan television personality uh, he came to fame on youtube making videos about cooking vegan meals and then became a neo-nazi you know the usual gradual transition of being a vegan to becoming a neo-nazi i'm only messing with you guys this guy is a legit neo though in Germany, he is known as Gemüse Goebbels, which translates to the vegetable Goebbels. <laughs> I love it. I fucking love that so much. For those of you who don't know who Joseph Goebbels was, look him up. Look him up. That's all I'll say. So, of course, we are talking about Attila Hildmann. Uh, he is a far-right conspiracy theorist. He is a German nationalist. He's a COVID denier. He's a former celebrity chef. And worst of all, he's a vegan. Now, I have to be very careful about how I word these things because YouTube doesn't like certain stuff to be said on their platform. So let me try to say it in a way that's not demeaning, but also not coming right out and say it. And I think you can all join the dots. So as I said, he was a follower of a certain leader of Hitler in around the 1930s and 40s. A certain leader of Hitler. I did not do a good job of covering that up. Okay, well, the cat's out of the bag. He's a Hitler apologist. <laughs> I can't believe how badly I fucked that up. <laughs> Oh, shit. Anyway, so yeah, he's a H-man apologist, and he also denies that a certain thing happened as a result of that particular person. You know what I'm talking about. And he says that it wasn't the group of people that we all know um, were uh, sadly murdered in those times, but instead believes that it was the Illuminati and Freemasons that were in the concentration camps, essentially. So he's a piece of... Anyway... So in his speeches, now he is a public figure and he's really mainstream too, which is kind of terrifying. But in his speeches, he uses a lot of Nazi terminology, Hitler type speeches, all of that kind of stuff. In fact, he rips off a lot of stuff directly from Hitler and uses them in his own speeches. And it has been said by a former security guard of him that he referred to himself as Hitler reincarnated, which again, is pretty creepy. Now, as I mentioned, he's pretty mainstream. He's got a huge following. Uh, not so much on YouTube. He was on YouTube for a long time doing pretty innocuous cooking videos and then just switched to this crazy conspiracy shit that we see before us. Um, but of course, most of his videos were nuked from YouTube because of the type of content that they were. Uh, now, he doesn't outright come out and say that he is a flat earther. However, he does believe that the moon isn't what we believe it is and the stars aren't what we believe they are and some Illuminati shit. You know, you guys know the people I work for and that's all the Illuminati, etc, etc, etc. So I think you can, you can probably join the dots there again and say he probably is a flat earther. But of course, we know his best friend is certainly a flat earther and came out as such. Um, so we see how all this ties together. Now, a lot of people say, oh, don't worry about flat earth. Flat earth is harmless. I agree for the most part, flat earth is pretty harmless. But when you look at the types of people that it attracts, people like this guy, Tilla Hitlerman or whatever, uh, you've got Nathan Thompson, you've got Daniel Pratt, all of these extremely hateful people. Now, actually, I think that's not quite right. I don't think it's fair to call Nathan Thompson hateful. He doesn't, like, 
spew as much crap as these guys although he does say some pretty horrible anti-semitic stuff and some racist things um but compared to these guys he's an absolute puppy dog he's a puppy dog anyway and that's what i'm about to get to when i asked uh, a couple of weeks ago i was chatting with um with my new friend jesse and I was saying to her, we would love to hear about some German conspiracy theories, people that we in the West would never have heard of before. In the West, I mean, Germany's in the West, you know what I mean? English speaking countries have never heard of. And then she released this awesome video, link in the description down below. Of course, I watched the video straight away. It was fascinating. I was able to understand some of it. I do speak a bit of German, uh, Germanian, if you will. And, uh, and then I got a message on the Discord, which you can check out down below. Yes, Kevin, I did fix the link. No, I didn't. I probably didn't. Check out Kevin's comment, spelled Sefen, in the uh, comment section down below and you will find the link there. I guarantee you. But anyway, uh, on Discord, I got an email. Email? I got a message on Discord saying, have you seen all the hate Jesse's been getting? I was like, oh, here we fucking go. More YouTube drama. But no. What happened is this guy called up his people and was like, hey, fellow neo-Nazi vegans, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go over to this video and we're going to start smashing that dislike button. And boy, did they. Unbelievable. And the comment section, the comment section is just, it is just ripe for picking. There is so much stupidity in that comment section. I just couldn't. I, I was, I was sitting there. I was like, oh my God. So I did. I did. I went and I got some screenshots. And I got some footage to show you folks. So we're going to have a chat about it right now with some slightly offensive music in the background. But first, here is the clip of Attila Hillman's, uh, I don't know what social media it is. And uh, basically he shares the link, tells everybody to go over there and shit on the video. And uh, when you click the link, it opens up Jesse's video. So uh, here's that clip and then we move on. This claim is currently... Now, before we start, I'm just going to warn you all that there is some very high IQ stuff here. Hans, cue the music, please. All right, first up, we've got KK. You're missing a K, bud. Says, shut up. That's some intelligent shit right there. Another person says, Attila. Tom, Tom, Tom. Heart, heart, heart. I can't do that. Heart, heart, heart. So they love Attila. They love this guy. Uh, next up, we've got who? this guy. Oh, my goodness. Right. So this guy called Peter. Peter's got some problems, and it's not that he couldn't pick a pet, pick, pick pep, 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 peppers, that fucking thing. Peter's got some serious problems. Peter's got a hate boner the size of the International Space Station, which, yes, does exist, flat earthers. So let me give you a montage, if you will, of Peter's amazing comments that shed some light on the political landscape of Germany and the shape of the Earth. Enjoy. Pretty riveting stuff there, Peter. Um, but anyway, let's move on. So the next one comes from Ahira Story says, Germany for Trump, left Antifa, and Democrats are lost. Germany for Trump. Let that sink in. Uh, thumb up because Adolf Hildmann doesn't like you. Stay strong. Legend. Next up, we got, Du solltest in deiner Muttersprache sprechen. To translate, I think that means you should be speaking in your mother tongue. God forbid anybody would learn another language and try to connect with other people. Anyway, uh, Peter HWS, good to see you, Peter, says, After witnessing what just happened in the US, these conspiracy theorists are not just angry, they can be very dangerous. And that is absolutely true. And if you have a look on YouTube, look up the rise of the right wing in YouTube and you will see exactly what's going on in Germany. Now, the hate coming from these people, I think, surprises absolutely none of us. The sheer volume of the hate coming from these people is what truly blows me away this guy's got a big reach take for example when daniel pratt makes a video about me or nathan thompson tells his minions go and report this video nobody does it because nobody gives a shit what they think nobody actually cares but this guy people really do listen to this guy is genuinely dangerous all right lads and lassies let's have a look at a few more of these hateful comments and then we'll have a quick chat about it after that. Hans, Musik bitte. 
Alright, now this next mastermind is a guy by the name of Razorhead99. Or is it 990? Anyway, doesn't matter. He says, you incompetent, hypocritical, goth sheep. Don't talk shit and go vaccinate. Can you imagine a goth sheep? Seriously. And last but not least is Wide R Stand who says, Trump, the real president. Yeah. So you, you kind of get the idea for the kind of people that we're dealing with here. So definitely head on over to Jesse's channel. I'll leave a link in the description down below for that video. Make sure and smash that like button and give her a bit of love to fight back against these trolls. It's a bit of fun anyway. I mean, I don't think anybody minds getting a couple of thousand views and fighting with idiots. It's great fun. I love a bit of pig wrestling. Lads and lassies, thank you so much for checking out this video. Uh, it was a lot of fun to make it. And thank you, Jesse, uh, for your involvement in helping me make this one. Uh, it was an awful lot of fun. Now, that being said, we did cover a couple of topics that is going to result in this video being demonetized without a shadow of a doubt. So definitely smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about these people, what you'd like to see happen. Uh, this guy apparently looks up his name and sends all of his little buddies over to videos to get them to essentially go blitzkrieg on them and start smashing the dislike and all that shit. So fight back. Do your bit for, like, the world and stuff. <laughs> I didn't even know what to say there. Make sure and leave a comment down below and let's have a good fucking argument with these guys in the comment section. And uh, try not to get the video nuked if we can manage it. Lads and lassies, thank you so much. Now, as you know, usually at the end of my videos, I say, Gurv Mila Mahagud and Slancha. But this time, I'm going to stay feeling dank and post. At least I think I said that right, did I? Close enough. <laughs>